Okay, so this is Ringwalk Media. It's Friday night, Vicious Five. We've got a very, very noisy crowd behind us because Abdul Khan has just got his next victory. Abdul, great six rounds from you. Yeah, it was a good six round learning fight. Um, it, was a, it was a good, tough, rugged fight and uh, exactly what I needed. Yeah, and you started very well, uh, went straight at him and then slowed down a little bit. I think your corner were getting a little bit naughty with you, weren't they? Yeah, it was like getting too excited, so calm down and pick his shots. And uh, yeah, 100%. And we're expecting to go all six rounds because I spoke to you before and you were very confident, but he was a very tough opponent, wasn't he? Yeah, he's never been slapped. He was a tough kid and um, um, he just, he just, he, like, he's come off like a good few wins on his record and exactly the fight I need at this stage of my career. I don't want to be fighting journeyman all the time and I need to take you up because, you know, we want to go all the way, so yeah. we need this type of fight. Well, obviously, as you can see, we've got Amir here as well, Abdul's manager. Amir, tell us what you thought about that, especially the fifth round when he decided to have a little rest on the road. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, it's a bit, a bit short, short put in there. But to be honest with you, still early in his career where you know he can, he can, he can afford to do them little things. But to be honest with you, I think what he did today, he boxed a well, a well fight. I mean, the kid came in strong. He was fit. He looks. I mean, he was taking good shots and giving back good shots as well. So I think for Abdul in this stage of his career, I think exactly what he needed. He needed someone to push him, get him to them six rounds, uh, kind of get, you know, he, he had to dig deep in them trenches today, you know, he had to dig deep today, So which he did. So I think that this is what he needed exactly. He knows he's going to go home now. We're going to watch that fight together and we want to see where he made mistakes and what he thinks that he should have done. I mean, this is the only way you're going to learn. You need tough, rugged fighters and... I just want to say a big respect to his opponent because he stood, he took some big heavy shots and he was still standing. Yeah, we saw that. I think it was the fourth round. You took a left to the uh, to the to the to the belly there, and uh, you know you really hurt him. I thought you were going to take him out at that point. Did you see? Did you see blood at that point? You, were you going to go for it? 100 percent. Like every time I did hurt him, I, I hurt him quite a lot. Um, I feel like there was loads of times in the fight that I could have 100 percent push it on, and but he was just moving, and that's what I learned now. You know, don't chase the opponent. Keep your composure and take your time. Well, I think it's a good, it was a good little learning fight for Abdul. This was because it taught him to slow things down uh, instead of always putting pressure on his opponents. He knew that there were times in the fight, and Mick, Mick was there as well. When we see Abdul putting pressure on, but he take that step back and then he reset, he reset himself. You know, that's what he did well. He's coming on so much, sure, but he's just got to cut the daft things out, and then uh, we might make. <laughs> We might make a champion <laughs> out of him. We'll, we'll make a champion out of him. We've, we've turned a lot of champions out. We've got another one here if he just does as he's told. Uh, it's all about hard work and that's what he's doing. He's putting all the hard work in and uh, we hope to keep going. This would have sit rounder. Next one we'll try and get an eight rounder and then pipe for an, uh, an earlier title. Well, we're privileged here because we've got three generations of fighter and coach and obviously Mick, you're responsible for both these gentlemen in the ring. I mean, what have you two got a message from Mick? Because he's, he's getting on a little bit now. Listen, one thing I want to say about Mick Jelly, from the days when Aidan Lewis, myself, I mean, he's brought so many champions up in the ranks and I think that Mick doesn't get deserved the credit that he, he deserves really because what Mick's done for boxing, especially in Berry, taking kids off the streets, keeping us kids off the streets as well, making us champions. And then we li we living a good life and putting, you know, living a good life from boxing. And this is thanks to Mick Jelly. I mean, he taught us that discipline, that dedication. And he took us all the way. I remember the days where it'd be freezing cold and Mick will pick me up from the house and my dad together they'll go take me to places like Ireland and Wales and up and down London just to get me my fights and a uh, huge oh so much to Mick Jelly yeah well listen it's been a fantastic evening here at uh, Vicious Promotions Matt you're sort of hiding you always catch you got to get him to the doctor well listen we'll leave the last the last note to Abdul Abdul a great victory okay well we'll do that you've been overruled we want to know Matt what would he have done different what are you going to work on I just working on his range, settling down a little bit. No showboating and nothing like that. You know, we didn't like that little bit. Yeah, we don't like that bit. We didn't, like so we didn't sort bit. him out for that. Yeah, we sorted him out for that. Just keep so building up, working on his basics. You know, and we then did a great job with him, mate. Uh, no, no, you you're doing much. a great job with him, mate. Thank you very much. I think if it wasn't for these three men, um, you know, I wouldn't be here today. You know, Mix always guided me, and you know, since young and. Matt's kept me in the gym and the mayor's always, you know, he's been like a big brother and he's, he's advised me all the time and um, the right fights at the right time and even outside of boxing, you know, they go a long way so I want to thank these three men. And, and I know you've got to go to the doctor but one last message for your fans, mate. 
I want to thank them all, you know, I love them all. Uh, they were loud and um, even now, you know, they're here waiting for us. And, you know, I want to say thank you to everyone. The doctor's waiting for you, mate. Doctor's waiting. Oh, yeah. Right, guys, listen, thank you very much. Congratulations, Abdul. Thank you. Thank you very much.